What's up guys, it is that Panagon. I'm here again with another video and today we're going to be covering the recent update, uh, the recent patch notes and whatnot, and we're going to be just talking about it overall. I actually had already done a video on this, but a lot more came out and a lot more information. I kind of covered this stuff that I was more not understanding or like had a lack of understanding on and I thought it was only justice to cover as much as I could in this video that I actually understood so you guys can understand as well for those who either don't understand or just want kind of a breakdown um, or at least my opinion on some of these things either way let's kind of hop into this and talk a bit about it so for number one we have limited time B duck collaboration from November 1st I'm assuming this is just when it starts so on November 1st we're gonna get the new collaboration event which is probably gonna be the tail end of the current collaboration event which is the doomsday slug event um, so I guess look forward to that I don't really care for it from from the sounds of it this looks like a little pet that your hero or heroes are gonna be able to carry. I'm not sure if they're gonna have like multiple or if it's just like a one hero pet or something. Can't really say. Um, it is a bit goofy by the way because they have on Google Play Store when you look, it has Doomsday Dash B Duck, right? And it just looks so stupid. Even from a person's perspective of who knows what it is, like it just looks dumb. And imagine you're a new player coming into Doomsday and you just you just see Doomsday Dash B Duck. Like it just looks bad. It just looks weird and it looks stupid, you know? So I don't really like it all that much. I mean I just I, I don't know. The the look was just kinda stupid. I don't I don't really care for a new pet or anything. I mean it is what it is, so I'm not really going to complain about it, but yeah. Number two, Unlocked Alliance Escort in Doomsday Express. By the way, for number one, I actually originally thought that this was going to be a like range hero collaboration, but then I forgot about all the, like not all the teases, but they did like a teaser on Discord. It was like, what is this? And it was pretty obvious it was a duck or whatever, and we were, you know, most people kind of assumed, or at least I assumed, there was going to be some sort of new pet coming. I should have I should have already been understanding that from the first patch note. But yeah, unlocked Alliance Escort and Doomsday Express though. And if you go to Alliance Escort, is it there now? Do we have the option? Okay, that is interesting. So I guess a bunch of players can register up in here, but only 10 players can register. So obviously I cannot get near. What does it mean by battle? Can I fight my own members? Yes, no, maybe so. I guess not. I don't know. That's a little weird. But I guess this kind of like just dispatches it with, you know, your alliance strength, which I'm actually kind of interested in how this completely works because, hmm, can, like does one player siege this or can an alliance siege it, right? Like how do I find these? I don't know if they keep, they haven't been shipped out yet since the update did just come out, so I don't know if anybody's been able to actually dispatch their alliance escort yet so i don't know uh, i mean for people who do like this feature i guess it's good for you I, I really don't see any harm with the doomsday express so i can't complain about it i think it's just kind of like a a little feature uh that, that kind of just helps along survivors and it's pretty harmless so i really don't have any problems with the 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 alliance escort um new district shadow gameplay so this does look like a new pvp event by the way and um all the way down to six right here these are all going to be included within the new shadow dish, uh, gameplay just so you guys don't get confused reading through this but let's kind of hop into here so the new district shadow gameplay is actually on the calendar for those who have not checked um where is it okay right here so it is uh it's going to show up in two days. I'm guessing that there's going to be a registration, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, from what I understand, they also pushed back the Genesis War that we were supposed to have. And also looking at this timer right here, this does look like when, right when we get out of Genesis War, we will be going into Archipelago Raid. So I'm not really looking forward to that just because the timing is so short in between the two events. Uh, but yeah, uh, either way, I am looking forward to a new gameplay kind of thing. I'm just not sure if I'm going to like this because once we read through this, you'll, you'll understand what I mean because it is a little bit confusing. And I feel like the, 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 the developers really are bad. They, they suck at explaining how these events will work. I really do hope that they'll have a video on it or something because they did have a YouTube video for the last, you know, uh, event like Genesis War. They had a YouTube video for that. I did ask um, an admin on Discord. She hasn't gotten back to me, but I was like, yo, is there a video for this? Like, are you guys going to post a YouTube video? If they do post a video, I will be doing a little watch party with you guys, okay? But let's run through this real quick. Um, 
So registration, when Federation history reaches the requirements, alliances with more than 40 active members with shelters level 12 or above can register to take part. Pretty average. Okay. Warzone division, alliances will be split into three war zones based on alliance might. Um, by the way, uh, this is just like Archipelago Raid or Genesis War, but I will say war zones do differentiate between Archipelago Raid and Genesis War, or at least like how many alliances are in each war zone, just because I think it's different because you're fitting either more alliances within a certain map or a certain bracketing or whatever, right? So if there's like, you know, 10... 10 G's for Apex Warzone in Genesis War, and there's 20 in, uh, you know, did I just say Apex War? If there's 10 in, like, Genesis War, and then 20 in Apex, uh, you know, uh, in, in Archipelago Raid, <laughs> sorry, I'm, like, selling out my words, then it's obviously going to be different, so we can't really say how this works, but it does say, uh, rank 1 through 60 alliances will be in Apex Warzone, 61 through 240 in Elite Warzone, and then 241 through 2100 in Fearless Warzone. I'm a bit confused why they haven't increased this number here, because I swear this was, like, 2.2k for Genesis War, I'm not sure why they, not, like, shortened the number here. I was talking with Z about this, and it might just be a server side thing, and I really don't understand why they're not trying to improve this, because if they're able to get more alliances in, and they're able to improve the lag, etc., this will just make more players willing to spend and kind of invest in a game like this, and I don't really understand why they don't improve this, uh, to, or even just like up, up it to have more alliances, and even if it's not like upping it right now, upping it every month or something, adding 50 alliances or 100 alliances that are allowed within the bracketing, you know, it would make a bit more sense and kind of shuffling the ranks uh, or even if even if they have to add another war zone right and and have more alliances within there i it just doesn't make sense to me um but yeah i don't know uh, hopefully they do end up increasing this later on because this is even lower i believe than they had in genesis war zone because i swear it was 2.2 thousand alliances or even more potentially it says other alliances will not be able to participate so yeah if you're not within those top two thousand one hundred alliances you won't be able to participate in this exploration roll silver dice to explore silver dice are restored over time you can also roll gold dice to explore and move a specific number of spaces this is very confusing if i'm gonna be honest um because this seems like uh that, that that one skin event right with the whole dice thing so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense how they kind of explain this and they don't really elaborate on how this works at all um and like the best I could think of is something that someone said, and let me find the comment because it was someone who, yeah, he said it's a war event, but I feel like it may be a turn-based sort of battle since there are dice is involved, which is exactly what I was thinking. Like I feel like this has to be turn-based or something if there's a dice feature, which is kind of weird. Like is this, is there luck involved with kind of like your fights or something, or like are you gonna get a buff? from i don't even know man or is it like rolling a map or something i don't know man like this is super confusing literally does not elaborate so there's nothing you can kind of take from any of this you can only kind of make guesses and like vague assumptions if you want to drop a comment in the comment section and give your thoughts on this and what you think this might be uh do that because i am still racking my brain Occurrences, a variety of occurrences will happen while exploring, including district buffs, district statues, street gangs, and the chance to enter district alleys. So it does say district buffs, district statues, um, which these tell you that these are probably, this, you know, obviously is going to offer buffs. This one may offer buffs or something, I'm not sure. Street gangs, hard to say, maybe you're going to have to fight them, which, if this is alliance based kind of gameplay it's just weird I, I i wouldn't understand how this would work you know what i mean um and would it just be the leader rolling the dice or would it be leader or r4 rolling the dice or like do, do you get a pre-decided map or are you rolling the dice for a map you know what i mean like i don't really understand like you know like if you're how, how your enemies are determined your um chance to enter district alleys i guess we'll figure out when the event actually comes around or once they like release a youtube video or something really hard to say and kind of elaborate there so it says funds while exploring you can obtain personal funds and alliance funds personal funds count towards personal rankings while alliance funds count towards alliance rankings you can also rate alliance funds from other alliances during the events 
All right, not going to really say anything there since I don't really have anything I can say. <laughs> merit rewards, uh, yeah, so alliance leaders can distribute merit chests, pretty average. And now let's move on to the next thing. New legendary infantry hero, spirit exorcist, Bad Badala, right? I probably butchered that name. Um, I'm not I'm not even going to try to freaking fix that. And brilliant star, Stella. Um... This, I'm just going to call this monk, by the way. I think that's what everybody's calling them <laughs> and typing up. Because it does look like a monk. And I'm going to show you guys in a second. I'm, I'm not covering the commanders in this video. I will be doing separate videos on the new heroes and trying to talk about them and giving my thoughts. But yeah, commanders will be able to meet the new heroes on November 4th. Meaning that, like, when this is me when Top Commander comes around for you to be able to unlock it, obviously. Uh, new Alliance League tier, Super Ace. Mm, all right, not really complaining there. I mean, I do think like a new tier kind of was needed. Uh, new one day hold period for gold added to the alliance vault. The gold can be distributed after the hold period. I actually had misunderstood what this meant. Basically, what this means is when you go to like this is like frozen gold, right? So if you donate to the alliance vault, uh, there will be gold that's stored in here, right? for 24 hours before it's put into the distributable kind of uh, thing and I can probably no I don't have any other accounts open if I did I would have donated one gold I have like literally zero gold up here uh, they do have something here called linked gold I'm pretty sure linked gold is gold that you're given right this is like distributed gold I could be wrong though uh, maybe I'm wrong I'm not sure uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong there uh, split gold into paid gold and linked gold. Linked gold can't be donated to the Alliance Vaults. So that's what I'm assuming too. I don't know if like it's maybe it's something like the game gives you or something. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not really sure. If somebody knows better than me. Maybe drop a comment explaining that. But yeah, they say optimize Ace and Common Survivors, fix Might Display, Display and Doomsday Express. I don't know what they fixed here. Maybe it's kind of just like an optimization thing. Um, and yeah, talk about the heroes real quick. Let's go down here. Um, First, I love this guy. You know what it reminded me of instantly? I don't know if any of you guys have watched Demon Slayer. I'm not even a big Demon Slayer fan. This is literally what it reminded me of. This guy. This freaking monk right here. This dude is the go. I he's he's profile picture material. That's what I'll tell you guys. <laughs> uh, but he he actually is a really cool design. He's been one of my more favorite designs in actually quite a while. Talking about the girl, she looks like Bro, I don't even know. Like, I don't even want to comment on this design. Like, I'm not even trying to hate. It just looks like it doesn't. It it doesn't rock with me, right? Like, I just don't rock with this design, bro. It just looks weird. Stop dancing. You're pissing me off. <laughs> I like the monk's design. This one is really cool. Uh, I definitely like it more than some of the other ones. Like, mm, honestly, it could have been worse. I definitely don't rock with these. I feel like sometimes they're like straying too far from like the general game aesthetic. I mean, even Chasey, like I actually like her design in general. I do think that it's kind of just like, I don't know. It's just weird though for like this type of game. Maybe I'm just tripping, but I don't know. Like I, I definitely think this kind of is more of a apocalyp apocalyptic vibe, right? Whereas like a Chasey just looks like, oh yeah, I'm going to seduce you, right? <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know, bro. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. But you guys let me know what you guys think. I will be covering the heroes in a separate video. I do appreciate you guys for stopping by and giving me your time and attention, okay? Um, I hope you guys have a great day or night, though. I will be seeing you guys in the next video. And that is about it. Peace out.